Hello Leia users and welcome to the third Leia video tutorial. In this tutorial we will not be making any edits to this consulting website that we've been working on but we're just going to talk about domain names. So in this case our domain name for this website is consulting77973.site.live and we're going to change that. So to do so we're going to exit the editor and go to the My Websites page. Now this looks very similar to what you might be looking at if you're in the iOS or Android application and you're on the My Projects page or the My Websites page. So you can follow along there and everything that I'm going to be talking about here is relevant to those platforms as well. So every website has essentially two things. Without getting too technical, two things. It has a domain name and it has hosting. When you build your website with Leia, hosting is already taken care of, right? We host your website and we don't charge you for it, right? And you never have to worry about it. It's free for life. So that's awesome. The domain name you can purchase through Leia or you can purchase through another registrar and link to your Leia webpage. And we'll talk about that in a second. Or you can uh, change to a site.live subdomain like the one that we have right here. And those are free. So site.live is actually a domain name that we own. So we can create as many of these subdomains, which is putting a name in front of site.live, as we want to. So you'll always be able to do that for free, and it's pretty cool. So anyhow, when you type a domain name into your address bar up here, right, as a user and you want to go to a website, what happens is, again, without trying to get too technical, the browser sends out a request with that domain name and it says, okay, where should I be taken to when I plug this domain name in? And it asks that question to a DNS server. And that DNS server says, okay, let me look it up. And it looks it up using something called an A record. And that A record will have the name of the domain and the IP address of a server that contains the files. And that's what your hosting is. So if you buy your domain name through GoDaddy or Google Domains or some other registrar, you're going to need to log in to that registrar and add your own A record for that domain name that has the IP address of your Leia website. And obviously we'll give that to you and provide you with instructions on how to do that when you do change your domain name to one that you've purchased somewhere else. If you purchase a domain name through Leia itself, Leia can configure all that stuff for you automatically and you never even have to worry about it. So we always recommend that you go that route. Domains are pretty inexpensive. I mean, about $12 a year, it's really not much. Anyhow, what we're going to do first is change this site.live domain because we can do this for free. So if we click edit domain name, it'll ask us if we want to use a custom domain or a site.live domain. So we're going to start just doing a site.live domain. So in this case, I'm going to type in consult dot site dot live and hopefully it's not taken so if I press change the domain name has been updated successfully okay so now if I go copy this and I paste it in my browser it'll take me to our website alright pretty cool so that's how easy it is to change a site dot live domain name now, if I wanted to use a custom domain name, which is anything outside of site.live, like a .com, .net, .org, etc., I would click Custom. Now it's going to ask me if I already own the domain name, which essentially is asking whether or not I have purchased it from another registrar already. So if I say no, what I can do is search for it through here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to type in something that has not been purchased, just so we can see a price for it. All right, and we see that the domain name is available and we can purchase it for $12.02 per year, right? Again, pretty cheap. If we click purchase here, what Leia will do is it will register the domain name, then it will automatically configure the DNS records for that domain name so our website shows up at it. And this usually only takes an hour or two. Um, it can take a little bit more sometimes, but usually it's pretty quick. Now, if I were to have instead clicked on yes I have one now I can type in any domain name that I want to and Leia will just assign it to my website so I could type in something like facebook.com all right oh it's telling me that I need to upgrade my website so yeah this is uh, this is definitely something that you'll need to do in order to use a .com 
.net, .org, or any custom domain name. Um, and there are plans that we can check out, and we'll go over all that stuff in a later video. But essentially what it would do is it would assign Facebook.com to our website. However, if I were to type Facebook.com up here, I would obviously be taken to the real Facebook web page, and that's because I don't have the ability to log in to the registrar where Facebook bought their domain name from and add a, an A record that'll point Facebook.com towards this consulting website, if that makes any sense. And one thing that's important to note is that if any of this does not make sense, you have the ability to hire one of our technical representatives to log into your domain name registrar for you and do all of this stuff real quick and easy for a one-time fee of $19.99. Uh, that's $19.99. So it's really, if, if you simply get stuck and cannot figure this stuff out, which a lot of people do, it is kind of complex, just know that you always have that option in your back pocket. Um, anyhow, that was the main goal for this video, just to show you what the domain names are, how you can change them, and what your options are for doing so. So in the next video, we will talk about booking services. So if you have a, uh, a service that you'd like your clients to be able to book through your website, we'll talk about how you can use this view dashboard button to set something up. Alright, so thanks for tuning in for this video, and we hope to see you next time.